Passive income investors are understandably interested in AT&T stock because of its healthy 6% dividend yield. But passive income investors are also exposed to the change in stock price. So where could AT&T stock be by the end of 2024? That's the question I'll answer in this video using all of the estimates and forecasts at my disposal. So follow along. Let's look at where AT&T stock price could be. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right. I mentioned already AT&T stock offers passive income investors a dividend yield of 6.22%. That's a solid yield, but you're also exposed to the change in stock price. So I need the current stock price, which is trading at $17.84. I'm going to need that to make my prediction for where I think the stock price could be. I also need AT&T's price to earnings ratio. As of this recording, AT&T is trading at a price to earnings ratio of 9.1. I'm going to use this to make my prediction. I also need to know what Wall Street thinks AT&T will deliver in earnings per share in 2024. And according to Wall Street estimates, they think AT&T will deliver $2.22 in earnings per share in 2024. I need this number to make my estimate. Now, this is a consensus among Wall Street analysts that are following AT&T stock. They all submit their forecasts for where they think AT&T's earnings will be. This isn't to say for sure this is what AT&T is going to deliver in earnings per share. This is just these analysts' best guess as to what they think AT&T will deliver. Typically, Wall Street analysts have relationships with management of the companies that they're following, and management gives analysts guidance as to what they think they're going to deliver in 2024. So Wall Street analysts work with the company management to model where they think the earnings will come in in 2024. Now, they're rarely precise with the earnings per share, but they're typically around the range of where they predict the earnings per share to be. But again, nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. We just have estimates that we can make based on the numbers at our disposal to come up with the forecast for earnings per share. So this is the earnings per share that I will use as my forecast for 2024. So now let's look at where I think AT&T stock price could be based on the assumptions we've gathered. So we think $2.22 is the EPS for 2024 for AT&T stock. 9.1 is the price to earnings ratio it's currently trading at. So if the company delivers 2.22 in earnings per share and the price to earnings multiple stays at 9.1, the stock price could rise to $20.20 by the end of the year. Now that would be a solid gain from the current $17.84 the stock is currently trading at. That's roughly a 10% return. Now if you add that to the 6% dividend yield, investors in AT&T stock would earn a nice return in 2024. Now, AT&T stock is not going to double your money overnight, but that's probably not what passive income investors are looking for. Passive income investors understand that dividend stocks offer healthy, robust yields, but they're not going to multiply your money. They're not going to double your money overnight. They're not going to offer you 10x returns in one year. That's just not what dividend stocks are meant to do. And they rarely deliver those kinds of returns. And I think passive income investors are okay with that. They understand that they're giving up some upside, but they're also having some of their downside protected because dividend stocks tend to be stocks that are in mature industries. They're mature companies that generate strong cash flow, strong profitability, and they're not speculative investments that are losing money on the bottom line with the hopes that one day in the distant future, they may generate profitability if all of these things go in their favor. That's not the case with dividend stocks. So if the price to earnings were to fall to 8.5 instead of 9.1, then AT&T stock could rise to $18.87. Again, that would be a $1 increase from the current share price of $17.87. And combined with the dividend yield, I think passive income investors would be happy with that return from AT&T stock. If, however, the price to earnings falls considerably to 7.5,
down from 9.1, then the stock price could fall to $16.65. That would be a decrease of about $1.20 per share, and it would almost all but wipe out the dividend yield that investors receive from AT&T stock. However, in the worst case scenario I have modeled here, if AT&T's price to earnings were to fall to 6.5, then the stock price could fall to $14.43. That would be a $3 decrease from the current stock price, and it would more than wipe out the dividend return that investors would get, and investors would end up losing money investing in AT&T stock in 2024. All that said, I don't think this worst case scenario is very likely for AT&T stock. I should say, I don't think this is the most likely scenario. If you were to ask me, and I'm making the prediction here, so my best guess on where I think AT&T stock will be in 2024 is somewhere around this 8.5 PE multiple and somewhere around the $18.87 price target. Now, I would say it's going to be a little bit lower than this. My prediction would say that at and stock price would be around $18.25 to $18.75 for 2024. That would be a slight increase from the current price of $17.84. So I only expect mild, mild stock price gains from at and I expect the price to earnings ratio to fall a little bit to 8.5 down from 9.1, given that the current 9.1 price to earnings ratio is on the higher end of the range it has traded for in the last year. I expect it to come down here a little bit in the average range between 8.5 and 8.75 here. That would be the average price to earnings in the last year. Now, some of the factors that could change this is if AT&T's operating profit margin over a trailing 12-month period continues to move higher. This figure has risen to 20.14% in the most recent period. If this continues to move higher, approaching 22, 23%, then I wouldn't be surprised if AT&T's price to earnings ratio was moving a bit higher. And subsequently on the downside, if this operating profit margin was to fall more than two to 3%, I expect the price to earnings ratio would fall more than it is already. So this operating profit margin is critical for AT&T stock because its business is so much recurring revenue. It's got the subscribers that more than 99% of them re-up their payments every month and they stick with AT&T. So AT&T's job is to serve those customers most effectively and most efficiently. The better they are at serving those customers, keeping them around and doing it at lower and lower cost, the better it is for investors because this is not a growth company. The industry is mature, like I mentioned. There aren't very many new wireless subscribers coming into the market. So you've got to do a good job serving the subscribers you have and getting better at doing what you do where last year you were able to serve these customers for $100 each. This year, you got to be able to serve those customers at $98, $97 each. So you got to get better, more efficient, more effective at serving these customers. That's the name of the game for AT&T. So that's my stock price prediction for AT&T stock in 2024. I'd be curious to know where you think AT&T stock price will be. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.